Oh, ho, ho, young love. Bonjour. I don't know why I'm speaking French. It's because you're wearing a beret. Hi. So, today we're going to talk about using your back focus button on your camera. Nearly all DSLRs have this option now. Some people use it. It's really popular amongst photojournalists. And I want to talk to you about why you might want to consider using it yourself. So, you might notice the video is a little bit different today. I have an overly eager Mexican version of Locke on Digital Rev here today. He's wearing the beret and everything. Mexican, New Yorker, we'll call him Louise. Um, anyway, so we're here at this beautiful location to talk about the back AF on button, is what they call it in Nikon. It's amongst uh, older photographers, it's generally called rear focus button. If you have your camera set up as most people do fresh out of the box so that you've got your shutter button be your focus and your shutter, that can be really handy. So you line up to take a shot. Let's uh, pat these guys. Hold down the button and you, uh, you, know, you get your focus done. Once it's focused, then it takes the shot. Great, but <laughs> we're getting some interesting angles here. Hello. However, it can be a pain in the backside. If you're, for example, at a concert or any kind of event or location where you and your subject aren't moving, you're not dealing with a tiny depth of field, so you've got plenty of room to play, like you're at the back of the room, you're shooting a concert, it's always going to be in focus at the settings you're at, then you probably don't want to be struggling to focus every time, especially in those situations where it may be low light and it's having a bit of trouble to focus. So you can actually set up so then only your rear AF button does the focusing. So when you want to take a shot, the process is changed. Instead of hitting focus, it focuses, then takes a shot. Instead, you hit the AF button, it focuses, and then you press the button and it just takes the shot for you. You could automatically, both of them will do the focusing job for you, but the shutter button will also focus again. So every time it's going to refocus. By programming it so only the rear button does the focusing, you can focus once, shoot, and then when you're ready to shoot again, just shoot, you don't have to bother about focus, nothing's moved, shoot, you don't have to worry about focusing again. That's really close. You should have focused again. Um, so yeah, definitely worth checking out. Probably not of that much use if you're shooting, say, portraits at 2.8, where you wanna make sure that the eyes are in focus on every shot. For whatever reason, photojournalists love this one. If you, you know, you want to make sure that the autofocus isn't thrown off if something jumps into your frame when you're on a burst mode or something, only having that button be your focus activation is really handy. Try it. It takes a bit of a mental shift to get your head around using that instead of using the front uh, shutter button. But some people, once they try it, absolutely love it and never look back. Others try it for a few hours and it just feels weird and they don't want to try it. Let us know which one you use. Do you use the rear focus button or do you only ever use the, the shutter button for your focus? And why? So Louise only uses the, the, the front one, I guess. This is his D700, but you can't tell because he's so street and stealth, it's all hidden. If you see him and he's wearing a beret and he's eating I don't know what a Mexican-American um, lox eat. Burrito. Burrito dim sum. Something like that. Should I do like a Kai impersonation or something then? How, how does he actually talk? How do you, I'm not good at impersonations. Walk along and just look at the camera. And try not to run. We'll have to walk and then walk back so we don't lose our stuff. Does he have an accent? He's British, right? He's British, yeah. Uh, there was an expression I got told on how you um, get into a British accent. What is it? Uh, it's not top of the morning. What is it? A jolly good show. Jolly good show. <laughs> jolly good show. Jolly good show. Jolly good show. Today we're looking at the Nikon D700. It's a fant That's David Attenborough. <laughs> anyway, let's shoot these beauties in the wild. Using my back focus at activation, I don't have to worry about focusing on each shot. And once I've got them once, they're mine for the pappy. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Oh, Locke, you silly bugger, shit balls and whatnot. Alambi, you crazy cat, you. Eh? Top of the morning. Nikon, Leica, Street, whatever. I love digital rev, I'm just taking the piss. Oh, look at that guy's pants. I think he's taking the piss too. That's something you'd see in Hong Kong. Brother, please, don't do that. If you haven't already, jump over to that nikonguy.com, sign up for our mailing list, check out the Get Your Gear Out community that's going on there, and uh, we'll see you soon. I, my voice is broke. We'll see you soon.
just let it roll. Tweak, 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 yep. Huh? Tweak, 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 your logo thing. Oh. Tweak, 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 just whatever. That'll be an outtake, and goodness me. So you want to, you can, yeah, just uh, walk gonna, around. I'm going to start, yeah. I'll, I'll stand still, but you can Actually, be active. You know